This is Bob with Film the Police 911. Oh man, they got the wrong officer right here. What are you doing? Huh? Well, I came to find out what's going on. I've been around. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I went. Oh, really? Fatalities? Ooh. Just one. Just one. So they got the whole area blocked off? Yeah. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Did they catch the shooter? I don't think so. No? That sucks. Well, Central Priest, Central Priest and arrested me today. Today? What'd you do? I was standing on a divider and they said I was interfering with traffic. Divider? Yeah, you know the divider that's on NATO Parkway right down by the Steel Bridge? I'm standing on that. And they what? Impeding traffic. Were you? No. <laughs> it's like standing on a sidewalk and impeding traffic. Were people waiting for you to cross or something? No, I was sitting there filming them hit a homeless camp. They turned around, threw crime scene tape up so no one get near there. Who uh, did? Lieutenant Gallagher. Yeah. They put crime scene tape up against around the homeless camp? Yeah. Uh, because he didn't want people going in there. Mm. And he, he, he told was her. Was it the non approved ones or something? Huh? Was it one of the non approved areas or something? Yeah, it's under the steel bridge. How big is it? It was pretty big. But yeah, he struck up crime scene tape and then. Uh, um, and he put it on the inside of the vehicles, and I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll see about that, right? And then he had the officers try, put it up on the outside of the vehicles. So the only way to film into there would be to stand in the middle of Nato Parkway, that's what he's thinking, or stand across the street, and you can't get a good view because you got traffic going both ways, right? So I went over to the divider, and I stood on the divider. Well, with the traffic, you can't hear anything, so I couldn't hear any orders or anything. Next thing I know, there's a cop car that shows up with three officers, and they're like, Mr. West, we're placing you under arrest. Well, you'd have to stand. Did you go to jail? Or you get a ticket? No, they took me to jail. How long did you have to stay there? From like 9 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock. Yeah. He's been home. Oh. Yeah, since we got back from Burns like two weeks ago, he hasn't been out. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been me. Keith's been out a couple times, but sometimes I take Keith out. Sometimes when he's out, I stay away. You know Keith. Real, real, he's skinny. Antarchist. Really? You would if if you if you. Friendly as you? No, <laughs> no. He'll tell you how fascist the police department is. He'll tell you how uh, how you have no authority and stuff like that. And uh, he'll I'm use. Yeah, and he'll, and he'll use uh, four-letter words like you wouldn't believe that would make even you blush. <laughs> Just because? Not even my mad? Nope. I don't think I've met him. Yeah. So how's your daughter doing? If you were home, I would have heard it. 
Huh? If you were home, you probably would have heard them. Yeah, I would have heard it. Yeah. If I was, oh, no, maybe not. What would they shoot? You know, because you got to look at it this way. If you guys heard it at the precinct, we probably would have heard it at our house. If you didn't hear it at the precinct, we probably would have never heard it. We've had shootings over here like 7th that we've never even heard. And it depends on the time of the day, too. Yeah. Like after midnight. I think it's echo more. So was it gang related, or do you know? Yeah. Who was involved? I don't know. I, I don't know if they know the names of the shooters yet. But I mean races. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Male black. Male black. Yeah. The blacks have been fighting lately a lot. What a yeah. yeah, I was listening to the scanner a couple nights ago and it's up and down division, they had fights with blacks. <coughs> Maybe. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, a lot of the shootings that happen are never reported because no one's ever hit, you know? I mean, you probably get calls every night of shootings, but by the time you get out there, there's no one out there. You can't find... The car got hit or something. Yeah. Maybe a house. <coughs> and then you get calls of shots fired and you find out that it's fireworks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So is your daughter still working east? Yes. I ran into her once. Oh yeah. I'm almost waiting to see what Friday is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Friday. You know, that's when all the kids are out of Friday night when all the kids are out of school, all the partying, and people got the weekend off. <laughs> you get to work during the weekend. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, yeah. So why is it you decided to take a demotion? I didn't like Central. You don't like Central? I'll do it again. I'll, I'll put it again. I'll have another test here in April, I think. Will they keep you at where you were, or do you start over? No, they'll keep me where I was. Oh, okay. Um, what, about 10 years? Yeah. But I, I've lived up here off, off and on all my life, so. Hello. <laughs> I mean, I was born and raised in Portland. 
left when I was 18, came back when I was 25, left when I was 27. So. I remember when the police station used to be at Fred Myers. They used to find bodies over there all the time. Yeah. 95? I think 95. Uh oh, looks like they got pizza. <laughs> it means we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> it means you're gonna be here for a while. <laughs>